Good morning and welcome to another video and today I'm going to be eating and training like Cristiano Ronaldo. Now before we start, I want to give a quick shout out to the five winners of the first ever Morse Transformation Challenge. These guys have absolutely smashed it. So Marlon, Thomas, Victoria, Gerhardt and Gabor were on an absolute mad one over the last few months, got themselves in crazy shape. Single out Marlon, just, just quickly, like that is ridiculous. Like look at the guy, literally makes me look pathetic. Each of those guys has just won themselves 1,000 pounds cash. We're giving away 5,000 pounds in total, plus loads of other prizes. And we're gonna be doing another similar challenge very soon. So if you would like to be involved in the next Morsi challenge, make the kind of transformation that those guys have just made and win loads of money in the process. Top link in the description. Go and join the Morsia team. You can even try the app for one week completely free, no strings attached. Go and get involved. Let's get some breakfast. Okay, so Cristiano Ronaldo says, mate, I know what I'm doing. I'm an experienced egg separator. Cristiano Ronaldo is an... I've got to wear this for the whole day. Excellent. Cristiano Ronaldo is an absolute weirdo and he... His breakfast, I says, give me, hit me up with his breakfast. Go. Uh, his breakfast is whole grain cereal. Check. Although I'll put the milk in way too early. It's going to be really soggy by the time I've done this. Egg whites. Egg whites and then fruit juice. Basically, somebody's seen a photo on his Instagram. Yeah. All of the sauces, right, of Cristiano, is that, that's pretty good, right? Yeah. Well, no, you just sprinkled loads oh, of shallots. All of the sauces of Cristiano Ronaldo's diet and workout all kind of stem from the same source, which is essentially just his Instagram post. So they'll see a picture of Ronaldo eating some cake and be like, Cristiano Ronaldo likes to eat cake. Like, it's just literally, it's, yeah, it's not that's the best. someone's birthday party. But we, all of the websites we found that seem to be semi-legit all said the same, loosely the same thing. Uh, and yeah, breakfast is what I'm putting together now. So it's going to get missed. Oh, careful. Do you want to eat that yolk? I dare you to eat that yolk. No, Andy, right. do you want to eat this yolk? Definitely not. Why not? You can have it. Andy just said to me, before this clip started, if you don't like this video, subscribe to my channel. He's gonna come to your house while you're asleep and just make that <laughs> slurpy egg yolk sound in your ear for the entire night, so. Olive oil, is that a suitable yeah. round to use that? Okay. I feel like it's, yeah, it's Mediterranean, right? I think you would use olive oil. <laughs> that looks rank, mate. That looks like jelly. What, like, what? Like how? What form would you eat this in? Andy, you ever eaten egg whites before? It's an omelet. I have. Yeah, you I have have an omelet. omelet. Yeah. Okay. With Josh, he gave me that. In fact, with um, Kate as well. I've eaten two egg white omelets actually. That looks rancid, mate. What is that? Mmm. <laughs> I can add salt, can't I? He would rather would not would not not have salt. Mmm. Egg white explosion. So breakfast. <laughs> as an unnecessarily, grossly unnecessarily large plate. Breakfast is served, we have egg whites, four egg whites, whole grain cereal, specified milk, didn't specify milk, but this is skim milk. I'm pretty sure Ronaldo would be a fan of skim milk. Then we have some juice, and then finally, a coffee. Shreddies are good, you know what's better than shreddies? Frosted, all frosted shreddies from the late 90s. That was the dream cereal. You know, they're always, it's been like watered down though, it's not as good, but back in the day, they were unbelievable. I've lined my mouth with the cold skin milk. I should now be able to tolerate the scalding hot egg whites if I can get them on my fork. It's actually fine. Like, I like egg white. Like, when, if me and Sez go out and we get egg, right, Sez will frequently leave a bit of the egg white and I'll just eat it because it's protein and it's nice. Like, I'm I'm a fan of all egg. Every element of an egg I'm, I'm happy to eat. Also, <clears throat> looking at the day ahead, this is probably the best meal. So, I need to make the most of it. I'm going to eat this, right? And then in 20 minutes, we are going to an extremely exciting venue to play some mother effing football, mate. I figured like Ronaldo's day, the, the kind of integral element of it is gonna be football, okay? I used to be a footballer about 20 years ago. I reckon I've still got it, Andy, what you're saying? You think I've still got it? Mm, yeah. Why did you hesitate that much, Jared? Yeah. You think I'm still gonna be good at football? Uh, do you think you or Andy's gonna be better? It's not gonna be filming, mate. We're not gonna a little one-on-one? -on -one? I'll come along. Okay. I'll hold the camera. Okay, we'll see.
Okay, we are in. We have come to Folks in a Victor's Ground. This is like my local team that like, I used to live like over the road from me. I used to go to the school over there. We're joined by Connor, Connor Collins. How you doing, mate? I'm good, you? Good, mate, good. So this is Connor. So Connor, you are the Folks in the Victor. You're like the, the number two exactly, goalkeeper, yeah, right? Yeah, number two goalkeeper at the moment. Okay, you're going to yeah. be number one at some point soon? Some point soon, yeah. Sneak in there? Yeah, yeah that's a little the plan. sneaky injury to the number one, take nah, him out. Don't, don't hate him that much. Don't <laughs> hate him that much. So I don't know what we do. I mean, I haven't planned this. We're just gonna. I feel like I can just ping some balls right at you yeah. and see what happens. See what happens. I like. I used to be a centre back back in the day, so <laughs> I don't know. I'm not. That stand isn't very high, so we've got a lot of balls, which is lucky because I feel like we're probably going to lose. Probably going to lose some. Um, oh, Connor's been kind enough to bring some boots. It dawned on me last night. I haven't got any. Like, I haven't played football for about ten years, so I haven't got any boots. Uh, Connor's come through and given me some, so that's absolutely ideal. Yeah. So we're going to get set up and then let's just play some football, mate. <laughs> That's going to be probably a reoccurring theme today, I imagine. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, oh. Love that, mate. Love that. Oh. That was a strike, to be fair. Oh, come on. Here we go. Just cut every other shot out and just include that one. That's two in a row. That's two absolute world is in a row there. I feel like I have to choose power or accuracy. Like if I try and if I try and aim where it's going, like it just it just triples towards the goal. And if I drill it, it's going miles over or just straight down the middle. It's going top right, my top right. Just cut that out. Ah, hundred percent, hundred percent. This is the one. Doesn't count. Connor's gone to retrieve the balls that I just pinged out of the stadium. Uh, in the interim, I'm going to eat some fruit. So Ronaldo's first snack, uh, aka second meal of the day, is a fruit salad, according to our extremely reliable sources. Says being, I mean, I wanted to go and buy some fruit. Says is like a friggin' hippie. She insisted that we just cut some up. So we've got a spoon, integral. So we've got some pineapple, mango, grapes, watermelon, kiwi. That's an extensive fruit salad, to be fair. I feel like I need to <clears throat> just erase the memory. I feel like the, the, my initial shots were okay, right? Could have been worse. They were quite good. It was I as soon like as you moved the volley, the yeah, the volley. But it was more just the setting. I feel like I needed a partner just to be setting me up because I was struggling. I can't even flick a ball up anymore, so I was struggling to set myself. But good fruit salad. This is a feature of Ronaldo's day. Basically, fruit and vegetables seem to make up about. His diet consists of meat and then fruit and or vegetables. That's literally that's literally everything. Okay, we've established that I'm a. Essentially a world-class football player, would you agree? <laughs> I think, yeah, I think, he, I think he agrees. So he told me off camera, I'm absolutely unbelievable, particularly at volleys. Well, now, we're going to go penalties. I yeah. feel like Ronaldo is a notorious, like, I feel like half his goals are penalties, right? He's a notorious penalty yeah. taker. So we're going to go yeah. like a 1v1, five penalties each, showdown. You backing yourself? Yeah, as I'm winning all day. All day. You, as if you're that winning confident. Winning all day, winning Have all you, day. Have you not seen my no, strikes, mate? Don't, don't need okay. to see those strikes. We'll see, we'll see. Okay. Oh, I'm nervous, man. <clears throat> Oh, that was an awful first penalty! Oh. Bad start. Oh, I pulled it as well! That was mine, game. Why have I chosen this time just to be awful at kicking a ball? I don't understand why I would do that. I feel like my confidence is just taking a hit now. I just... On that one, I tried to, I, rather than guess, I tried to wait and see if I could see where it was going. As if you, you definitely haven't got time to do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go my top right, or like mid right. Okay, pressure is mounting. I need this one. That is an absolutely glorious penalty. Right, come on. That is pen of the day for sure. Ooh, rubbish dive as well. 
Well, this is the fourth pen. Fifth. Fifth. I've got a score there to stay in. Yeah. And this is pen. If you save this pen, you win. Yeah. Easy as that. It's a lot of pressure on this pen away. Oh! Oh I should have gone the other way. Louis. Try to be clever. I cannot kick a ball to the left very well. Son of a <laughs> That was embarrassing. It was embarrassing, but I had a couple of good pens. So I thought like we can yeah. just, let's just focus on those bits. Yeah, let's just focus <laughs> on the good ones. Okay, we're done. Uh, Connor, what are you saying? Rate, rate my football ability on a scale of one to 10. Be honest. Center back, 10. For what? <laughs> Striker, zero. <laughs> <laughs> so zero. zero. How are you giving me zero. a zero, mate? Those, that one. Third, those third and fourth pens were absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, but you also missed three. Oh, we don't need to think about that. Let's not dwell on the negatives, mate. Okay, mate, I really appreciate it, dude. No worries. Really appreciate you having me. No worries. And Thank massive shout out as well to folks in Victor for letting us use the pitch. That was extremely, uh, extremely kind of them. So if you're in the local area, anywhere near folks, and come watch a game, who are you playing? Who are you playing like? Yeah. So this will go up on this Sunday. What will be your. Our next game will be next week, the 18th, I think. We are. Exactly. Uh, we're away, we're at Ashford Town, Middlesex. Away, Ashford, okay. Yeah. If you want a trip to Ashford, mate, get over there, Ashford Town, away. But yeah, thank you very much, mate. Appreciate you having me. I'm now just going to go and eat some weird Ronaldo. <laughs>
Google what a drop squat is. Okay, so it's like a, I mean, literally what it sounds like, you just drop into a squat. Okay, so this is, I guess this is like a, it's like a circuit, right? <clears throat> so I'm gonna do those three exercises back to back, 40 seconds on each side, 30 seconds each side, 40 seconds each side, and then you go into part two, okay. My quads are sore, I've actually got low-key doms in my right quad from playing football, and I squatted yesterday, so this is, if I was choosing workouts to do right now, anything quad related would be bottom of the list. Plus, I have the worst onion breath, but I can just feel onion just like permeating from my face, so it's not ideal, but let's just, let's do Cristiano Ronaldo's leg work. <laughs> Done. That's quick. Took like a few minutes, but okay. Moving on. Part two of Ronaldo session is apparently definition and strength building. Everyone knows those two things come hand in hand. Uh, so we've got a side lying leg raise, one set of 50 seconds again. Uh, no rest, followed by walking lunges with dumbbells. Awesome. Again, 50 seconds, one set, and then no rest, followed by jump squats, one set of 30 seconds. I would like to know where this is like their source. Do you know what I mean? Where is this from? It's extremely specific. It's like Ronaldo's written it, but I just find it hard to believe that's the case. Okay. Let's carry on. Mad one. I guess it makes sense, obviously, his training would be predominantly cardiovascular based, but it's just not for me. Okay, moving on to part three, finishing power moves. Sounds like a friggin' Mortal Kombat like game, what does that even mean? So we've got a cross back lunge, I'm guessing that's like a, you know, like a reverse lunge, oh, like across your body. I'll look up, I'll look up and find out. That's 40 seconds each side, then a rear foot elevated split squat, that's gonna suck. 40 seconds each side, body weight squat, 30 seconds, uh, all of these things and no rest in between them. And then a ju jump squat, we've just done jump squats, mate. Another 30 seconds of jump squats, and then we're done. Okay, oh, I want this to be over with. finished thank the lord that was i mean it was nice in a horrible way you know when something's horrible but it feels satisfying that you've done it <clears throat> i did all of that volume in a very short space of time but um it was pretty intense because it was like no recovery my cardio isn't very good okay cristiano ronaldo's workout done what are we doing now andy hit me more food more, more food cool And lunch, or lunch two, I think it's called, it's down, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's down as a snack, but like, that's not like, you can't call a tuna salad a meal and then a chicken salad a snack. They're both meals, right? So this is lunch two in my book. What a guy. Um, again, maintaining the theme, just meat and salads. We've got uh, like rocket, whatever, whatever, like I'm not a big salad man, rocket lettuce salad of some kind, uh, chicken, some other bits, and then a Caesar dressing. This is like Chinese chicken. It probably doesn't go with the Caesar dressing, but I do what I want. Um, so I'm putting it in. Now these things, so these are like, that's chicken on a stick. I mean, that's what it's called and that's literally what it is. It's from Muscle Food, they're super handy. We just buy an absolute ton of them. I freeze them and then I just take them out as I want them. I'll have like one of these a day. One chicken stick is like almost 20 grams of protein and it's handy, oh my God. It's handy because um, like I try and avoid getting all my protein from shakes and like bars and you know I mean? Like, I do eat a lot of protein flat and a lot of protein shakes. So it's nice to get protein from like actual food, you know what I mean? Rather than shakes. So I have, like I said, one of these a day and I'm good to go. I'm gonna cut this up now because otherwise 
just enormous lumps of chicken. So link to muscle food in the description. You want to get some chicken on a stick or just other cool protein based snacks and food. Go and do that. Fill your boots. For now, I'm eating my 37th salad of the day. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty, I think this looks good. I'm pretty happy with this to be honest. I think this is, could be the best meal. Let's find out. <coughs> okay. I'm gonna put it out there. Probably too much dressing. <laughs> this is dressing heavy. <coughs> the vinegar is coming through. I think we went over the top trying to get the dressing application shot because this is like a bowl of dressing with some salad in it. Also have juice, fruit juice, just in case you didn't get enough micronutrients from the 4,000 servings of fruit vegetables. We've got some added there. I'm just gonna try and like dilute this dressing. It's good, it's just like there's way too much dressing. I basically ruined it. This would have been amazing had it not had this is like five salads worth of dressing here. And we're done. And that was good. After the first like two or three mouthfuls of just solid Caesar dressing, it got good. I'm happy with that. To be honest, the day as a whole, the meals so far have been like very good. Like I'd probably want a few more carbs here and there, but generally speaking, like I'm, I'd be happy to eat this diet. Like the protein is extremely high. The food's been pretty enjoyable. So my my current verdict on Ronaldo's diet is that it's good. Like I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm extremely full up. The next activity is not going to be ideal, but basically it turns out that swimming is the secret to Cristiano Ronaldo staying ripped all the time. That is according to Lad Bible. Uh, fortunately, we have the sea right here. Um, I've actually been partaking in a good amount of swimming recently. If you look out there, you can probably see it, Andy. There is an orange boy, right? It's like, that's about 400 meters away. I've legit swam to that and back a few times. I'm gonna attempt it now. My stomach is not ideal right now, so we'll see what happens. I need to arm myself. I'm not, I mean, I'm not prepped for a swim to be fair. Probably should have planned this a bit more. Ah! I'm still wearing pants. Wearing pants in, is that always acceptable? It's not an appropriate pant changing situation. Okay, can I get as ripped as Cristiano Ronaldo by swimming? There's only one way to find out. So, <coughs> I've swum out there like a million times and I've never encountered any creatures. Not joking, I just hit something with my hand. Genuinely, did a breaststroke and I just hit a big object that felt like, I don't know, big and soft and like it moved like a mouth on my hand. That was terrifying. So I literally turned around and came straight back. What like, what do you think that was? A fish. It was big, like, it felt bit, it was like a fist size on my hand. Like I, li I literally slapped it with my hand. Jeez, mate. That is scary. Um, okay, that was a shorter swim than planned, but I don't know. Basic experience with shark attack, so I think that's a extenuating circumstance. Oh. Okay, so I'm today, right, I'm eating like Cristiano Ronaldo, right? And his dinner is like, or Part one of his dinner is a swordfish salad. Right. What's like the closest thing you have to a swordfish salad? I'd have to go and ask the boys for that one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you. Bad start. Bad start. Okay. They have swordfish, mate. What an absolute result. As if. I mean, it is a fish place, but I feel like swordfish is quite a niche fish, you know? All right. Swordfish salad, mate. Not a problem. This is the Lazy Shack. It's like not too far from me. The guys there are really cool. They've got some good food and it's in a sick location. Okay, that is a big slab, mate. Swordfish is like a, it's like a freaking cow. It's like a massive meaty fish. Oh, that is a proper steak. Holy guacamole. That's good, that's really good. That's literally like, that is way more like chicken-like than fish. You know how even tuna is quite flaky? That's just literally absolutely dense meat that's so that's like very good oh my god this is mad it's been out there it might be the best fish i've ever had in my entire life genuinely it's very very good so this is <clears throat> dinner number one i'm not even remotely hungry um i've consumed a lot of meat today but i can make an exception for this because it's very nice and then more fruit juice in the form of apple right i'm taking some of this home for sales because i feel like it's so good i feel like someone else needs to be involved in this incredible fish experience. Like she's gonna, like, this is literally her like dream meal, I reckon. She'll be loving this. Right, Sarah's mate, get ready for the thrill of your life. <laughs> Come on. Man, he's jealous he's not going. Very good. But that's actually mad, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Come on. 
Luca, Luca, try some of this. This. Try some of this and then try and guess what it is. Malvin, what do you think? What do you think it is? Fish chicken. Fish chicken? That, I don't know, that's kind of that's a great description, yeah. It's swordfish, you know swordfish? That's swordfish, mate. Good, right? That's the best fish I've ever had. I feel like the one thing today's been missing is a bit more meat and a bit more salad. So luckily, dinner number two is upon us, aka last meal of the day, aka Cristiano Ronaldo is my hero. We have a steak salad. On a side note, I should be a professional steak chef because that is exquisite. Well, actually, it's probably slightly overdone now, but it was great when I first did it. Uh, on a, again, just salad. I don't know, I like just miscellaneous salad. Then we have some carbs, mate. This is the first, like, first meal-based carbs of the day, apart from fruit, like sweet potato fries, aka not AK, courtesy of says. Um, sweet potato is the superior potato in my opinion. Just putting it out there. Let's check the steak, tastes as good as it looks. It does not, it's quite chewy. Left it too long. In fact, I, that was like a one minute cook, wasn't it? Oh, Literally 30 seconds each side. It's quite thin to be fair. Mm. Then we have some more juice to finish off the micronutrients. Okay, I'm going to eat this. I think we're done. Are we done, Andy? What are you saying? We're done. It's a lot of food. I think it's a lot of food and a lot of like... I feel like we've, like we've done a lot today. I feel like it's been quite a productive day, right? Yeah. I feel like we've, we've covered like a vast number of Cristiano Ronaldo-based experiences. Um, in terms of my conclusion from the day, I'd say diet-wise, like great. Like it's literally... Like I said, I'd probably add in a few more carbs here and there, but generally speaking, absolutely ideal. Like a nice range of stuff, a huge amount of protein, pretty much bang on. In terms of activities, mm, the training was terrible, but like, I don't know. I would question the, legit the legitimacy of that supposed training session. The football was awesome. That was like super fun. Probably the highlight of the day for me. My my fourth penalty. What a time that had. Andy, how good was that? Yeah, that's that's going to live long in the archives, isn't it? Top corner. Andy Hillock's archives. He'll be remembering that for forever. But yeah. We're done, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. The next video is going to be a good one. We have lots of new and some familiar faces. Should be exciting, so keep your eyes peeled for that. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Any suggestions for future videos, as always, let me know in the comment section. And I will see you tomorrow. Oh.